G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we're going to look at cleaning up your uses. Now, if I start a new multi-device application, and a blank one is what we want, and on it, I throw a ID HTTP component, and we have a look at the uses, and we see that um, the ID has conveniently added these automatically. 10.4 uh, I think adds them immediately. Uh, previous versions will add it when you save or compile. But if I at some point in our code decide I don't want to use an, an indie HTTP component, instead we use a client and request, the IDE does not automatically remove those users. And there might be other instances where you are refactoring code and start no longer using uh, certain items from your users. They get shifted to other units and all that kind of stuff, and you remove units and code gets shifted around. And so you end up with a whole bunch of things in your users clause that are now redundant. Now, why would you want to clean it up? Well, lots of reasons. One, particularly if you're using a version of Delphi prior to 10.4, basically the IDE will slow down considerably if you have lots of redundant stuff in your uses clause because it's got a part of it. And for the like code insight, error insight and stuff like that, all of it needs to be analyzed to see that um, you know if there's any mistakes in the code or the completion and all that kind of stuff. So basically if you can minimize what the ID, the work the amount the of ID has to do, the more responsive it will be. Now with 10.4 in with the addition of the LSP, the uh, Language Server Protocol, I think it's what, what it stands for. A lot of that, a lot of that stuff is now done uh, out of process, so it doesn't. Like in an old version of of, of Delphi, say ten point three, if you pressed Control Space to code complete something, occasionally the whole whole ID would freeze for several seconds as it went and parsed your code and all the third party code that you've got uh, added into your uses. But so removing. Removing these is a good idea. It, it will improve the ID performance, it will reduce your compile times as well, and reduce the amount of memory required for your application to just, just uh, compile and reduce the you know, memory footprint within the ID. So we definitely want to get rid of those. Now I'm going to use a tool called the CNPack Uses Cleaner. Now to install this, you need to install the latest release, or well, not necessarily the latest, but it's a good good idea to do the latest version of CN Wizards from cnpack.org. Now we can just clean the current unit, which would be fine in this instance, or the uh, current project, uh, or open units in the current project, all units in the current project, and all units in the current project group. Uh, it's a bit scary if you've got a lot of stuff in there, but you can definitely do it. Current project is generally what, what I often use, and often I'll just use the current unit, which is what we're going to do here. The options, this will always remove a unit, and this will always skip and never never remove. And we also are skipping units with initialization. Uh, that's important. That include if you've got like a, a, your own custom T graphic descendant or something like that, that'll have an initialization section in that unit. Register procedures, components, and other some other bits and pieces that for installing things into the IDE, uh, and some other, yeah other other bits and pieces used by components indirectly. So the TID HTTP component uh, is resides within this unit, and these are all used indirectly. So this is a sort of a direct use, and these are in, an indirect use. So go to uses cleaner. And so we don't want to remove these indirect ones if the component is already present. So these will get removed. Uh, and we'll see that because we don't we have no component for it uh, that's you know referenced by the HTTP unit, HTTP unit. So let's process this. And we'll see it's brought up a list. It's skipping these is here's the reason because it's got an initialization section and it's also in our skip list so that's cool so yes we want to remove these uh, indie components 
but it's kind of gotten confused on on these net HTTP ones. So I'd usually untick those. They are actually required. But I, I, let's um let's remove the HTTP client, and we'll see that it's actually the IDs added it back uh, instantly. So I can reformat that, for instance. And yeah, so that's that's cleaned up our users. And oh, and it's automatically added another one. And that's our working application. So that's that's all good. Now, CN pack can go wrong on occasion with the users cleaner. Um, and I've also seen it not work at all on certain projects. And so you, uh, if you're doing an entire project, it will just fail. You can get, sort of get around it by doing uh, sort of one unit at a time, which could be extremely painful. But I'm going to show you another way very shortly. So yeah, so it, it can go wrong. Uh, I go into that. I'm actually uh, described this in my up and coming book, Code Better in Delphi. Um, hopefully you've already read my book, Code Faster in Delphi, and you're much faster at using the Delphi IDE now. But let's um, look at another way of cleaning users. The next utility we're going to look at is Pascal Analyzer, uh, in this case, the light edition, which is the free version. And you can get that from uh, paganza.com and download the uh, free version. And there's the homepage. So I've saved this project off. Let's delete our HTTP component. And we see that it's got our redundant things in our uses clause. So let's go, in fact, we'll run the wizard. We go pick our project. And I've uh, obviously already done this. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to matter, but we'll say it's 10.4.132. And I'm just going to go all files. You can kind of reduce the amount of code it analyzes by selecting these options. And it's now analyzing. And it's going to produce a whole bunch of reports. For this video, we're only interested in one of those. And that is the uses report. Now, in the options, I, I've, I may have told it to only show the ones. No, it's showing all of them. So in project options, reports, uses, we can say only show me warnings. And that would hide um, these ones that are uh, not, not really um, particularly useful. Anyhow. Uh, these with this arrow beside it are units that we can remove. So like before, we're not going to remove these ones, but these ones we definitely uh, could in fact use. In fact, um, that one should be removable as well. Oh, in fact, I probably didn't, did I not save? I didn't save. So let's run that again. And there it's showing uh, the ones we, we can remove. It's th the Paganza one's not as intelligent in terms of it said we could remove these ones, uh, which we can, but the ID would add them back. Uh, so there's the, the indirectly used units. So it doesn't do it automatically. So you have to go in and manually uh, make the change. But I'm just going to demonstrate one other thing that this is particularly useful for is that Instead of creating our ID HTTP component on the form, I'm going to and you have a bunch of code and then we free it. So I'll save that and we'll rerun the analysis. Um, so it's control R. And we see that we've got these things with a single arrow. So 
it reckons we can remove these ones and these ones with this single arrow indicate that we can move it from that unit from the interface to the implementation. So it reckons we can get rid of these three. But these two, we could shove down here, like so. In fact, we can compile that and verify that it does indeed compile, and it would run as well if we actually downloaded something. So that's an advantage of uh, Pascal Analyzer Lite uh, in that it indicates that we can shift units. And this also helps with how the IDE parses the units and things and can uh, improve performance a bit. So I hope you found this useful. I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv, and I'll see you in the next video.